everybody, it's Catherine from Jane Catherine on Books here with part two of a book haul. Um, a few more lovelies to show you, which I got from the works in the UK, three for five pounds. So, yeah, there's some bargains. Couple of uh, well, the first three I think are, are thrillers, and uh, yeah, the first one sounds a bit psychological. Seven Days, Three Families, One Killer, The Holiday by T.M. Logan. It's a, supposed to be a perfect holiday, four best friends and their husbands and children in a luxurious villa under the blazing sunshine of Provence. But there is trouble in paradise. Oh, yes, there is. Kate suspects that her husband is having an affair and that the other woman is one of the best friends. One of these women is willing to sacrifice years of friendship and destroy her, her family. But which one? As Kate closes in on the truth, she realises too late that the stakes are far higher than she ever imagined because someone in the villa is prepared to kill to keep their secret hidden. Yes, perfect, perfect. Next one, not heard of this author, Rachel Sargent, The Roommates. And uh, I was intrigued to, uh, to pick this up because... Um, if you recall, I read, yes I did, what's the one that I read that they were all sharing a house in London? Flatmates, flat share, no not flat share, flat share's Beth O'Leary, um, house share, yeah. the house share, that's it. Um, and that was really good, so uh, I thought yeah, if this is anything as near as good as that will be great. So it says the roommates, how well do you really know them? They live in your house. University is supposed to be the best time of your life, but in those first week is quickly going from bad to worse. A stalker is watching her flat, following her every move, and Imo suspects that her new roommates are hiding dark secrets. But who? But do you trust them? When no when one of them suddenly disappears, the trauma of Imo's recent past comes hurtling back to haunt her. And she begins to realise just how little she knows about the people she lives with. Well, I, um, you know, I love, uh, I love books where there's a hidden secret from the past that comes back to haunt the person. You know, that's uh, one of the tropes that I love. So looking forward to that. The Roommates. The Wives, Taryn Fisher, another author I've not tried before. Uh, it says, the international bestseller, Taryn Fisher. English she's written loads of stuff. This came out 2020, so it's hot off the press. Uh, doesn't say. Doesn't say whether she's read loads, but she's written other things. Okay, what's this about then? The marriage full of secrets. You never met the other wives. None of you know each other. You see your husband only one day a week, Thursday. But you don't care, you love him that much. Or at least that's what you told yourself. And then one day it all changes. That's a funny carry-on. I, I bet there are people. I bet there are things like that that happen, you know. I bet there are people, there are these bigamists, aren't they, that have got several wives or several husbands on the go in different towns. So I'm, I'm intrigued with this one. You thought you were fine with this, but only having a fraction of a husband. But you can't help yourself, you start to dig. You begin tracking them down. The other days. Who is Monday and why does she have bruises on her arms? Is she being abused? By who? Her husband? Your husband? And what, help, what else is he keeping from you? Oh, yes, I can't wait to get to that one as well. Very interesting. Oh, well, I'll have him Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. And you can have him Thursday. So, yeah, funny carry on that. Mind you, if you don't get on with the husband, I suppose it's ideal if you don't have to, if you don't have to put up with him on a Thursday. <laughs> oh, dear. A watermelon, a fish in a Bible. I love these books that have got these really unusual name titles to them. They intrigue me. Uh, it says from the author of the bookkeeper, the beekeeper of Aleppo, Christy Lefteri. It's July 1974 on a bright sunny morning. The Turkish army has invaded the town of 
Kyrenia in Cyprus. For one young woman brought up without her mother and shunned by the community, the invasion brings an opportunity to at long last share her side of the story. To an invading soldier it becomes a search for his one true love lost years ago. And for a man far from the action it brings memories of the past flooding into his mind. A woman, a child and a secret never told. A novel of international significance, courageous, provocative and haunting. It's hard to choose which one to start first. They're all so good. And then finally, I thought we can't have a book haul without a historical fiction in the mix. So I picked this one up, The Wheel Wright's Daughter. Eleanor Porter. So it's all new authors. Can she save herself from a witch's fate? I love all these. I love all these uh, um, witch hunting, witch hunting historical fiction. I love them. Martha is a feisty and articulate young woman, the daughter of a wheelwright living in a Hertfordshire village in Elizabethan England. As she is able to read and is well versed in herbal remedies, she is suspected of being a witch. When a landslip occurs opening up a, a huge chasm in the centre of the village, she is blamed and pursued remorselessly by the villagers. Can Martha's own wits and the love of a local stable hand, Jacob, save her from a witch's persecution and death? Fabulous. Fabulous, darling. So, I'm really pleased. I've, I've ended up with some really uh, exciting reads that I got from this uh, cheap book haul from the works in the UK. Um, you know, there's ones that I've been looking out for and uh, why pay full price when you can uh, wait a while and get three for five pound. That's what I think. Forever a Yorkshire woman, forever wanting a bargain. That's me. Anyway, thank you for joining me. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Keep safe out there. Take care. Bye for now.